Hey everybody, welcome to the first edition of the Virtual Roundtable. I'm here with Joseph Fasciano. How's everybody doing out there? Well, Joe, it's our first time around. I know we've been doing the um, Virtual Roundtable radio show mm -hmm. uh, for uh, roughly, what, you're going to say, we can say about five, six months now. Yeah, yeah. And we've had a pretty decent... Um, turnout uh, I guess listenership I can't say turnout uh, the boot camps are becoming a little bit more successful people are actually coming out and, and, and enjoying the information and taking advantage of the practical application and so you know I decided why not do a webcast let's do something that's really going to see people in our literally our virtual roundtable our virtual newsroom so today we just wanted to sit back and uh, you know just kind of talk to the people about why the boot camp, why the virtual roundtable, and then give them something um, that will help them go forward in, in getting in touch with us in regards to either A, showing up to one of our boot camps here in the Lehigh Valley, or bringing the boot camp to them. Yeah, um, Darnell, uh, you know, one of the things that I like about the formats that we've been using, whether it be the web radio show or the actual live boot camp, is that we're delivering value mm -hmm. every single time. And we're finding that our listeners, our attendees are responding to that because the word is getting out and, and we have growing audiences both on the radio show and also as attendance to the boot camps. So we believe that we had a good recipe and still do have a good recipe and that is evidenced by our growing fan base, let's call it. Wow, yeah, you know, the, I guess you would have to say that, the fan base, <laughs> they never really think we think of it like that, but it's really have become a, a fairly decent size of fan base, uh, it, it's expanding, just not in this region, it's actually expanding across the country, um, I was on the phone today with someone that's interested in helping us develop the product in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've already wanted, I, we've uh, touched base with people in uh, Houston, Texas. I mean, we haven't gone as far as uh, far west as we would like to yet, but uh, south, down south, we're talking Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Tampa, Florida. I mean, we've really had some great responses because these individuals are actually listening to the to the internet radio show and we just love the fact that people are responding to our idea and our concept you know it's not something brand new and that's the amazing thing it's not brand new it's something relatively uh, old actually it's just that we've decided to take a different uh, twist to it so why don't you tell people about the different twist um, that we've put on to our boot camp idea well, what I like about what we're doing is, and, and I'm sure you've been to some of these seminars as well, or, or um, at different workshops or whatever, but I always felt when I was attending those things that I was drinking from a fire hose. You know, you get somebody up there who wants to throw everything in their mind at you over a short period of time, and it's almost not digestible. And I think what we've done, Darnell, and, and what our listenership and viewership do um, appreciate is that the information we give is digestible. We keep it focused to uh, a, a narrow topic and deliver a few good ideas that mm -hmm. people can try. And then they can report back to us on how their results worked for them. Or maybe they can say, well, could you just clarify this a little more? But I think the whole key that what we do that, that I know <coughs> I appreciate is the digestibility. You know, there's not so much to take in that you're overwhelmed. Um, and I think that's really what, what helps us out here. Yeah, not overwhelming the, the, the attendee is probably, think, I believe, one of the greatest assets to what we're doing. Um, because we don't, it's, it's great that we can get them the information and you know, it's great that we can just shove information down their throat. But I think anytime you have too much shoved into your throat, you throw it back up. Sure. And um, what I think, what I believe, in regards to the formatting that we're utilizing is giving small pieces, letting them digest over the course of a month and the application, the application, do it, use it, yes. use it, use it, use it. Then come together next month, let's say we are, you know, let's say I got this information, it worked for me, it didn't work for me, and at the end of the day we're dealing with a, be 